Hi, and welcome to 3 Minutes on Markets and Money. Talking a little bit today about the truth about Wall Street analysis. You know, it's earnings season as we get ready to move into the third quarter earnings reporting season. And, of course, that means it's millennial soccer time. Because, as we always know, Wall Street does a great job of lowering analyst estimates for earnings until they get to the point that all the companies can actually get over it. And they all get a trophy for beating earnings estimates. Look, let's talk about the truth about Wall Street analysis and what's going on here because when you take a look at the financial industry itself, what is important to understand is that in the S&P 500, there are 98 financial firms. And out of those 98 financial firms, 40 of them make up $1.65 trillion worth of annual revenues. That was just in the last 12 months out of a total of $1.8 trillion for the entire 98 financial firms. Look, Wall Street is big business. I mean, it's really big business, lots of money. So it's not surprising to really understand where you fall into this whole paradigm. Is Wall Street out there actually looking out for you? Take a look at how analysts rate stocks. Out of 4,642 stocks that are rated by average brokers, according to Zacks, 3,740 of them are all buy rated stocks. Only 773 are hold, and just 129 stocks out of 4,642 actually rated a sell. Now, doesn't that seem a little bit strange that out of all these stocks, only 129 of them are actually sell rated securities? Well, you have to ask really, what is it that analysts are doing and what's the important thing that is to them their job? A recent survey came out and they actually interviewed analysts and says, hey, what's important about your compensation? Well, where do you fall in the bottom of this, the profitability of these recommendations? Yeah, that's at the bottom of the list. <music> Where do you fall in the importance of analysts and what they do for Wall Street firms? Well, when we take a look at that, you're at the bottom of the list again. Everybody else comes before you, which should actually make you question about just how good these companies are that they're actually recommending. Look, a little bit of independent research. I'm an investment manager. I do independent research and just applying some basic fundamental measures of either the Petrosky score or simply even price to sell. Something as simple as that gives you a very different outlook of how many companies you should buy or sell. And particularly when you're thinking about price to sales, that's, you know, revenue. And that's what's is what's really driving the bottom line of companies. Ultimately, you know, when we talk about this, Scott McNeely, um, who was the CEO of Sun Microsystems, once said when his stock was trading at 10 times price to sales, he said, that assumes that basically I don't pay anybody anything. I don't pay employees. I don't pay taxes. I don't do anything. So when you're talking about, you know, actually running your business, what are you thinking paying 10 times price to sales for any company? Well, you know, right now there's a lot of buy rated stocks that are trading in excess of 10 times price to sales. You probably own some of these either in your ETF, your mutual fund, or actually in your own portfolio. What are you thinking? All this is on our website right now, realinvestmentadvice.com. This blog post, along with our latest newsletter, videos, podcasts, and more, realinvestmentadvice.com. We'll see you next time on 3 Minutes on Markets and Money.